So today, I want to talk about Sonic. Why would I want to talk about Sonic? Why would anyone ever would like to talk about Sonic? Well, I mean, believe it or not, Sonic actually was a very big deal back in the day. I mean, nowadays, nobody gives a shit. Who cares about Sonic? Nobody talks about Sonic. Well, I do. Nobody else talks about Sonic. It gets terrible reviews, the games suck, and there's just this fucking blue thing that runs, man. Who cares, right? Before, it was actually a... a very big deal back in the day man back in the day when 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 freaking Nintendo was was, was still well, I mean Nintendo the console the NES when it was there Sonic was actually a, a pretty top competitor to, to Nintendo and you know what I actually played a lot of Sonic Sonic is actually embedded in my memories in my blood is it was my infancy man I played that so much and you know what it was freaking awesome and what I want to talk about today is just how can how can that be? How can Sonic be that awesome before? And now how can it just suck, right? Mario did well. Many games did well. This is, you know, the front well, when you was sweet, no, but many many games do well nowadays. I mean it's really just a matter of trying to keep it the old school. Well, you know, improving the fucking graphics. How hard is that, right? I mean Mario did it. Right, they revolutionize every now and then, but it's still the same concept, it's just a platforming with a plumber, right? Why couldn't have Sonic done the same? It revolutionized when it fucking went 3D with Sonic Adventure, right? They could have just fucking done that, just just more, with better graphics. I don't get it! Why did it fail? Okay, dudes, back in the day, Sonic, or, we're talking about, you know, us being kids, like my generation playing Sonic. We're talking about... We're talking about what would be the equivalent today of something like Call of Duty, right? We're talking about S Mario and Sonic. That was the only thing that there really was. There were other games. We're talking NES, Sega, you know, but like very old school. It's, it's <laughs> that was really the main, uh, the main core of the gaming fa fan bases that were centralized over: Am I a Nintendo guy or am I a Sega guy? And you know, Mario came with one. Sonic went with the other, and you know what? It was, it was pretty big. Sonic 1 was amazing. Sonic 2 was amazing. Sonic 3 was revolutionary. You add Knuckles in, orgasms, you throw in um, well, some really crappy spin-offs that they don't really matter. I guess Mario never did that. They never sucked at spin-offs. They actually thrived on spin-offs. Um, but then there's Sonic Adventure, which literally revolutionized everything. I mean, you guys played the Dreamcast? It was, it's like a freaking Sonic Fest. The entire thing was actually really. It's actually one of my favorite games of all time. It was so, so good. Sonic Adventure, dude, it's freaking retarded. You could fucking. It, uh, it was like it was like a fucking Sonic Galaxy, just like back in the day, dude. It was fucking amazing. All right, the story was amazing. The characters were amazing. The animations, the speed, everything was in there. It was glorious. All right, Sonic Adventure 2 comes along. It's even better. How can that be possible? How can you grab perfection? And just improve on it, it doesn't make any sense. They did it, dude. Sonic Adventure 2, fail shards off the roof, amazing thing, right? The Dreamcast failed, <laughs> I guess that's another thing. Dreamcast failed, they ported the Sonic Adventure series to the GameCube. I played them actually on the GameCube and on the Dreamcast. Um, GameCube 1 had more things, doesn't matter. Thing is, it was great, it was amazing. What did they do then? Sonic Heroes, suck balls. It's not adventure, it's not like the old school games, nobody liked it. What did they do? They continue doing bullshit, right? They fucking do this... I mean, you guys know, right now, Sonic is just nothing. He, he No one even cares. Freaking Sega, dude, they just... They stopped doing consoles, they just so started to focus on their soft, on their, on their softwares, and, and they just they don't... They, they, they throw out their, their big mascot, the, the, the thing that made them big, and they just, they just fucking didn't give a shit anymore. I mean, who cares about Sonic nowadays? And that, that pisses me off. It used to be this awesome, awesome thing, dude. Awesome, big, huge thing, that's what she said. And and, and now it's just this, this, this blue fucking ball, dude. It's a ball. Who likes balls? Who likes balls? Nobody likes balls. You know what most pisses me off? They do this Sonic Generations game, right? It's supposed to be like, I believe it was the 20 year anniversary or 30. Correct me if I'm 20, it should be 20. 20, right? Yeah, I guess it makes sense with the dates. 30 would be too much. 20. Um, 
the game is amazing, right? They, they start throwing back, um, they, they start grabbing stages from old school Sonic games. They, they do this whole, like, okay, you can play on 2D, but you can also play on 3D, and then it's, like, different, the same stage, but you can play it on two different modes, so you can play it as you want or whatever, you can see the same map from different perspectives. It was awesome, dude! It's like, it was like fucking playing Sonic Adventure back again. It was amazing. The 2D was just, like, old school, right? The 3D was just like Sonic Adventure. It was brilliant, it was awesome, the graphics were amazing, the gameplay felt smooth as fuck, alright? It was, it was freaking glorious, alright? Epic orgasm, just all the way from beginning to end, right? So the game is a wonder, right? It's an amazing throwback. Then they go, and a couple of months later, they, they, they throw Sonic 4 Part 2, and it's garbage! What the hell? How can you, how can you go from making this awesome thing, right? And then... Th this! What? Like, I don't... It, it's obviously, it can't be the same people behind the games, because one engine is very different from the other. The, 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 the methods of thinking of how the gameplay should feel, way, way different. They even had a fucking somersault fucking homing attack on the air for Sonic, on Sonic Adventure 4 and 2D. Like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Who does that? Seriously. Fucking retarded, alright? And uh, uh, You know what? Uh, it's like they're on purposely trying to make Sonic, Sonic fail. I mean, you guys remember that game where Sonic turns into a, a, a beast? Turns into this werewolf thing? You know what I heard? I haven't- I played actually a couple of stages of that game and it was- it was amazing, right? The Sonic stages were amazing, but apparently half the game is good, the other half is garbage, right? The, the half where Sonic is actually running like it should, it's good. The part where he turns into a werewolf, which is about half the game, it's garbage. So, you have this amazing thing, and you decide, hey, why don't we just add this whole thing that will just ruin the entire thing, right? Brilliant! I mean, what the fuck? Seriously, you have the... It's on purpose. Like, I'm just... I'm just... Conspiracy theory right now, right here, in this video. That's... They're doing it on purpose. What the fuck? They grab Shadow, they make a game just for Shadow, and they give him guns! They gave him a fucking gun, right? Shadow just running with guns, like, yeah, I'm just running about the city, just, just shooting my homies, man, shooting some robots. What the fuck, dude? Fucking Sonic Spinball was better than that. Fuck! I don't know, man, dude. It's just... What do you guys think? I wanna know what you guys think. I, I was a huge fan of Sonic, I, I've always been a huge fan of Sonic, lately I haven't, you know, it's just, it's just, I don't know man, it just seems like they just don't give a shit anymore, and it's so sad because it used to be this, this huge thing, and as an old school gamer, you know, it's like, I grew up with Sonic, man, I, I you know, it's like if you grew up with Mario, you, you sort of love a Mario, you grew up with Pokemon, like playing Pokemon Blue, black and white when you were a fucking kid, you obviously you sort of grow with that nostalgic feeling, with that love, you know, that, that sort of like unconditional love for, for the game. It's like, I love Sonic, man. It's the best. But what the fuck, you know, it's... I want to know what you guys think. Have you guys played any of this new Sonic games that you guys used to play it back in the day? Or has this happened for another game? You know, like, like an experience, you guys used to love a game and now it's just shit. Banjo-Kazooie, obviously. That happened, right? Um, I want, I want to hear your guys' opinion. This is obviously very important. I love talking about games with you all. Um, I want to share my love for gaming, and I want to, to express that love to everyone. So, if you want to help me out, express this love for gaming, just click the like button, the subscribe button, help help us out, spread the, the gaming love, and uh, love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>